Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video I'm going to show you how to retarget people using Facebook ads, how to retarget people on Facebook. Now, retargeting campaigns on Facebook is one of the most effective uses of their ad platform. We do it for all our clients, it usually produces the best ROI of any campaign, it nearly always beats out cold audience targeting. So if you do have any sort of website traffic or anything like that, you want to be retargeting those people with your you know, conversion campaigns with your product and, ser uh, and service offerings. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that in this video. First thing you need is to have the Facebook pixel installed on your website. So if you don't already have that, then I'm going to include a link in the description of this video that will take you to another video that shows you exactly how to install the Facebook pixel. You have to have that installed on your website in order to be able to retarget your website visitors. So if you haven't done that already, pause this video, get that done, and then come back here. So I'm just right now, what you can see is the homepage of my website. If I click on the little... Um, Facebook Pixel Helper Google Chrome extension, which is a bit of a mouthful, but I'd recommend that you go ahead and grab that because it's very, very useful for checking whether the Facebook Pixel is installed on certain pages or not. You can see that it says here, one pixel found on Lead Guru, da -da -da -da. page view is, uh, is all set up. Um, so what you want is the Facebook Pixel installed I would recommend doing it on all pages on your website. That way you can decide who you're going to target. If I come into one of my blog posts, for example, you'll see that it is, and I bring up the Pixel Helper again, it is also installed on here. So anyone that visits my homepage, any other page on my website, blog post, whatever, they can all be added to a custom audience that can then be retargeted. So that's step one. Once you've got that, you want to head over into your Facebook ad account and you want to go into Ads Manager, go to the Audiences tab. So I've just got the Audiences tab up already. If you don't know how to get here, what you do is when you're in your face, your personal Facebook account, there'll be a little uh, black arrow on the right hand side at the top here. Click on that. That will produce a drop down menu and one of the options will be uh, manage adverts, create adverts, something like that. Click on that. That'll take you into Ads Manager. Then when you get to Ads Manager, you probably won't see, well, you won't be taken straight to your audience's um, section, you'll be taken to Ads Manager, which you'll probably see up just here. All you want to do to get here into audiences is click on these three lines at the top, um, come down and select All Tools, and then click on Audiences there under Assets. That will bring you into the page that you're looking at right now. Again, if you're new to this, you're not going to have all these sort of lookalikes and everything set up. Don't worry about all that. Um, we're going to start with the basics and start with retargeting because it is an awesome feature and very, very effective. So to create your custom audience, you want to do select create audience and custom audience. And that'll bring up a list of options for creating custom audience. Now, when people refer to retargeting on Facebook, most of the time they're talking about retargeting website visitors. There's lots of other people that you can retarget. You can retarget previous customers uh, based on app activity, retarget people that watch your videos on Facebook. I'm going to create more videos about each one of those, and I've also got some on my YouTube channel, so check that out if you want more information on those. For now, we're going to stick to the basics, the one that most people use, and that's retargeting website visitors. So for that, you want to select website traffic, and that'll bring up a menu, and here we've got a few options that we need to choose from. So the first thing we need to decide is who we actually want to target. Now, we know that we're retargeting website visitors, but you can get more specific than that. So if you select this little uh, arrow here, you'll see there are a bunch of options. So you can start by creating a custom audience that includes all website visitors. If you don't have that much website traffic or you're just getting started, that's what I'd recommend for now. But if you did want to get more specific, you can do that. So for example, you can target people that visit specific web pages. If you've got different pages about different things on your website, you may want to, um, to target, to tailor offers to each group. So let's say for, for our business, for example, someone's um, taken a look at a page on our Facebook advertising coaching program. We may want to advertise to them about that coaching program. If they've had a look at our done-for-you services, then we may want to advertise to them about our done-for-you services. You get the idea. So you can do that. Another option is visitors by time spent. So for example, you can target the top 5% of people that spend the most time on your website. If you've got a lot of website traffic and you're, and you're advertising particularly high value offer, something that only the people that are really into you and your company and your stuff are going to, to be interested in, you may want to go with one of those options. You can also target people based on events that they've, uh, that they've taken action that they've taken, an event code that they've triggered on your website. So you'll see if you when you go through that um, how to install the Facebook Pixel tutorial video, you'll see that you can set up event code. So you can set up event code, for example, when someone adds something to their cart on your website or when they become a lead, these events will be triggered. Now you may want to target people that have added something to their cart 
but not yet purchased. This is all stuff you can do when you create your custom audience. It's a fantastic feature. We do that all the time with our uh, with our e-commerce um, clients, is target people that have added to cart but not yet bought because they're fantastic prospects to advertise to. But for now, when you're getting started, and most people are going to go with all website visitors, so that's what I'm going to select for now. The next thing you need to decide is how long into the past, the time frame in which you want people to be included in this custom audience. So the way this is set up now, anyone that has visited my website within the last 30 days will be included in this custom audience. Now, the trade-off here on deciding this number is size versus how warm those prospects are. So if I was to reduce this all the way down to seven days, then those people only people that have visited my website within the last week. Those are really responsive prospects. They're just checked out my stuff. They're probably thinking about it. Are they going to buy? Are they interested? Etc. Etc. But because it's only within the last week, that audience is going to be small. The maximum Facebook will allow you to go to is 180 days. That's of course going to be the opposite. The largest audience possible. So if you don't have much website traffic, that might be the option for you. But if someone visited your website five months ago, they're not really that much of a hyper-responsive prospect. So you might not get the best results from advertising for those people. If you're just getting started, I'd recommend sticking with Facebook's default for the most part and going with 30 days. Then you just need to uh, give your audience a name. So I'm just going to call this example, so I know for my own purposes, all website visitors, 30. So I know exactly what that is. Go ahead and select create audience. That's going to create the audience. Um, don't worry about all this. That's talking about creating lookalikes and, and all that sort of stuff. We're going to get to that in a minute. So Facebook will take a few minutes to, to populate that audience, to you know match the people uh, and get it ready. When they've done that, um, you can see I've got lookalikes up, but availability will just say ready here, when that audience is ready to go. But we don't have to wait. We can jump into our uh, back into Ads Manager and add that custom audience as a targeting option into our campaign so that when that audience is ready, those people start uh, being targeted, which is, of course, what we want. So once you've done that, you want to head into Ads Manager. So select these three lines at the top and click Ads Manager. Okay, so now that I'm in Ads Manager, I'm going to create a dummy campaign just to show you, um, you know, how to set this up. So don't worry about all of this data in here. If I select the green plus create button. I'm just going to call this example campaign. You can use whatever sort of campaign objective you want. Obviously, it depends on what you're after. Most of the time when you're retargeting website traffic, you're going to be looking for conversions. I'm going to skip ad uh, for now. We don't need to create that. I'm just going to call this example ad set. Save that to draft. Then I'm going to head into it and, uh, and set up this ad set. So it's very, very easy to target uh, the new custom audience you've just created and by doing so target your website visitors or retarget your website visitors minimize that head into the campaign here we've got the ad set if i select edit and then i want to go ahead and obviously select what conversion event i want to optimize for it would not be that for my business most of the time it's going to be leads because we're a service-based uh, Facebook advertising agency, budget schedule, don't worry about all that. You can, you know, if you want to know how to set this up, then check out some of my other videos. I show you more detailed in terms of campaign creation. But the part where you want to be able to retarget people on Facebook is right here in custom audiences. You want to add in the name of your custom audience. So here we go. We've got all website visitors 30. We've popped that in there. It says here potential reach unavailable. That's just because we've just created that audience. It hasn't populated yet. So I can go ahead and, and create the ad and get all that set up. By the time I've done that, this campaign will be ready to go. Um, once you've added in a custom audience, one thing I should note, for example, we're just targeting website visitors, is you want to keep a lot of this other targeting option uh, open. Don't put in anything in here. Because if you add, let's say, for example, some sort of you know interest uh criteria, then the people included in this audience, for them to see your ad, have to meet both sets of criteria. So they have to, yes, be interested in what you've selected here, and they have to be um, included in your custom audience. It's not an and function. It's a, sorry, it's not an or function. It's not these people or these people. It's they have to meet this and this. So that's an important point because I've had a few people add things in here and end up with almost no one retargeting and they get bad results from that. The only thing I would say you want to add in is make sure that you've established a location that you want to advertise to where you can actually do business. So if, you're, if you operate uh, nationally or internationally, go ahead and add the countries in here. But if you do just operate local basis, then put your address in here, specify that location uh, targeting, 
And even though you may have website visitors from other places, there's no point advertising to people if you cannot, if they cannot then go on and become customers. So because we operate on a nationwide basis, I would just use, um, well, we operate internationally really, but most of advertising is done in the UK. I would just go ahead with that. Uh, leave a lot of the other options blank, then go ahead and create your ad. And it, it really is as simple as that. You can then, uh, once you've added it in there, you can click publish, go ahead and create your campaign. And that campaign will then be um, pushed out to people that have visited in this case, your website visitors in the last 30 days. Very, very effective targeting option. One thing to note is to watch out for your Facebook ad frequency. Uh, when you're advertising to website visitors, it's usually quite a small audience, much smaller than cold audience targeting options. So people are going to be showing your ad a lot of times over a short time period. If that gets too high, then you're going to end up with ad fatigue issues and performance is going to drop off. So once you set your campaign up, once you set it live to target uh, previous website visitors, just make sure you keep an eye on it, come back in on a regular basis and check to see that, you know, results haven't so all of a sudden dropped off. Your frequency hasn't got sort of over, you know, five, six, seven, eight, maybe 10 different campaigns have different frequency levels at which they hit an issue. But just make sure you keep an eye on that and monitor the results. OK, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Before you go, something I want to tell you about that I think you find useful if you're looking to get better results from Facebook. And that's our five part Facebook ad template you can download right now for free. All you need to do is click on the link in the video description above. Uh, that'll take you through to our website actually it's the video description below on youtube i'm used to creating videos for facebook but that'll take you through to our website you can download it there as i said it's free this template includes some of the best performing ads i've created you can um, model from those use those i've broken each ad down explain what i've included in each one and why from the copy headline image etc so you know if you're looking to we've had over twenty thousand people download this thing so if you're looking to get better results on facebook i think you'll find it really really useful go ahead and do that and um yeah if you like the video please give it a thumbs up really appreciate that got any questions leave a comment below if you've got any other topic ideas you want me to create videos about then again comment below and i will uh, get to it if i can thanks a lot guys Bye bye